coincidence that the members of the Spanish royal family spent their summer holidays in Mallorca, along with a star-studded list of Hollywooded crowds mingling with gazillionaires on luxury yachts. Mallorca ticks all the boxes for a Mediterranean Eden, azure waters, warm air, gentle coastline breeze, and wind-blown pine trees, yet it is so much more than that. An island with an unmistakable style and understated elegance, which offers a lot more to do than simply sunbathe. The real estate consists of villas that are wonders of modern architecture. The striking forest meets sea setting makes it a cyclist paradise, and the warm summer nights only enhance Mallorca's magic. From luxury to leisure, Mallorca is hip and trendy, yet secluded and exclusive. World Heritage mountain ranges overlook young, beachy sophistication. Adventure meets serenity. The capital Palma de Mallorca is justifiably known as the Pearl of the Mediterranean. It is the beating heart of the island, with 75% of its population residing and siestaing there. The Palma itinerary is bursting with must-see spots and experiences, but there is so much more to discover when you venture out. Swap the fever pitch festivities in the capital for a more low-key, but no less enjoyable experience in the other parts of the island. You can drive west into the mountains and visit the orange trees and olive groves of Soler, Valdemosa, and Dea, ancient villages in which time has seemingly stopped. Or go south for Caribbean-worthy beaches. Head east for traditional farming villages or north for the old fishing ports. The central part looks surprisingly like something out of a Tuscan fairy tale with rolling hills, vineyards, and gladiator-style mansion farmhouses. There are many large and spectacular cave systems on the island, with the Cuevas del Drop in Porto Cristo being the most famous. These caves were first explored in the late 1800s and contain Europe's largest underground lake, also one of the largest in the world. Any self-proclaimed foodie will have Mallorca on the list. From hearty peasant fare steeped in tradition and rooted in local ingredients to the finest fine dining scene and freshest seafood imaginable. From the endless parade of tapas to the beach bites to die for.
you want to eat like a local, head to Santa Catalina neighborhood. For a modern take on Mallorcan tapas, we recommend Patron Lunares, incredible place seeped in sailor history with one-of-a-kind original Mallorcan map hanging behind the bar and oversized, hauntingly dark portraits of fishermen. We can personally vouch for the salmon bowl, the ribs pastor tacos, definitely not for more than two, and the beef free buy. Peruse their extensive Mallorcan wine list whilst enjoying the vintage sailor cinema. For great cocktails and splendid marina views, try the Sky Bar at Hotel Hostel Cuba. The old town of Palma is colorful and characterful. This is where you'll find all the old houses with bright walls, beautiful courtyards, and fluttering curtains. Make sure you look up, as otherwise you'll miss a ton of stunning architecture and beautiful plants. It is also one of Palma's prime shopping spots. Whether you're into clothes or interiors, department stores or boutiques, or trying local specialties, this is the place for you. You simply cannot mention Mallorca in the same sentence without the word beach. Even though there's so much other things to do, the island is literally bursting with phenomenal beaches. The trick is, as always, to avoid the crowds and still enjoy a refreshing scene. Cala Samarador, located within the Mondrago Natural Park, is one such candidate. A spectacular walk through the low-lying shrub and green pines will take you there. Occasionally, the bush would reveal a peak of the teal blue water that is waiting in the distance. The turquoise sea and bright white sand perfectly complement the rust-colored cliffs and sage green shrubbery that surrounds the scene. Yachts are moored offshore, hosting afternoon drinks or serving a pit stop for swimmers. From Samorador Beach, you can wander along the path etched into the cliff to Cala Mondrago. Although pretty by anyone's standards, Mondrago is smaller, more built up, busier, and lacks that little something extra. If you're looking for greater seclusion and more excitement, just embrace your inner explorer and go discover. Having heard recounts of amazing scenery and a promise of Europe's largest underground lake at the end of the tour, we headed to the Caves of Dra, only to find the whole area closed off. Still full of adventurous spirit, we ventured off the beaten path and followed our foe, or simply the narrow winding path from which you could feel that unmistakable Mediterranean breeze. The masses will head to Cap de Formentor, which stands for the meeting point of the winds and boasts a spectacular scenic road, culminating in a lighthouse perched on the edge. We, on the other hand, got lost somewhere else entirely. The road is extreme, to say the least, but once at the top, the views are breathtaking. If dangerous driving is not your idea of leisure, then park at Mirador es Colomer and hike bathing in the gorgeous scenery. It is about 4.5 kilometers to the top and back, with about 180 meter ascent. An old strategic lookout and bastion dating back from the early Middle Ages, this watchtower offers some unique and breathtaking views, overlooking the Bay of Puerto de Polenca and the Valley of Polenca Old Town. During the 1500s, the tower was used to spot Turkish and North African pirates whom continuously attacked Mallorca. Sunsets have never been that extraordinary.
with its ancient villages, Tuscan-style rolling hills, and farmhouses, and sensational scenery, Mallorca is full of appropriately bougie splendor. The place where rich history, dramatic interior landscape, and virgin nature is sprinkled with that Balearic flair. I hope you have some true Mallorcan magic in your near future.